Hi guys, welcome back to a, another DJF video. Today we'll be taking a look at a few Seasonic power supplies that the guys over at Seasonic just recently sent us. Now we're not going to be doing a full-on review uh, on these units. I don't really have the gear to test all these and I normally leave that up to the professionals. But what I'll be doing is I'll be going over these units, uh, showing you the specs and getting some close-up looks at them and we'll have a look at the cables as well. Now the units they sent out was the Seasonic Snow Silent the Seasonic uh, Powerful uh, 1200 Platinum and then we got the interesting Fanless which is a 520 watts uh, Platinum as well so these are all Platinum now I went with these ones because they're just slightly different than your traditional ones not so much the 1200 here but we went with the fancy white uh, Platinum looking one and we went with the more interesting Fanless so this is a Fanless Platinum at 520 watts which is a nice little unit uh, you don't have the fan inside it, so this will be completely silent. Great for things like uh, a silent PC, uh, you're in an office you want it nice and silent, or you, you're setting up like a home theater system as well. Now, I'll just cover some of the main features that are featured across all of these three. These are all platinum uh, rated uh, power supplies, so that's one of the best you can get. Like You can get titanium, but that's very, very new. Now, if you're not familiar with platinum, uh, the three main ratings that need these need to achieve is when they're at 20%, 50%, and 100%. They need to be, I believe it's 90% uh, efficient, 92% uh, at 50%, and at 100% load, they need to be 89% efficient. So that just pretty much means, if you're not familiar, um, when you're converting your AC into a, a, a power supply, you're going to have some... Uh, some loss of power. So with the uh, efficiency scale, say we're running at 50% on these, these will be 92% uh, percent of efficient. So every 100 watts we're losing, we're going to lose 8 watts due to uh, like power conversion and heat. So that's pretty good. And then at 100%, um, if you're cranking some of these, 100%, you're, you're at 89% efficiency. So that's pretty good as well. Now, some of the other things these have in common is all have single uh, rails. Now we'll have a look at the, the snow silent just to see to get this correct. What we're running at for the single rail for the snow silent is 87 amps, I believe. This uh, the 1200 watt big guy here is a ha 100 on the dot, 100 amps, and then this little unit over here, the 520, is a little bit less at where are we? At 43 amps there. So they all have uh, they all have decent uh, rail systems. Now another interesting area with these uh, these two here, we'll talk about the fan control. Can't talk about the fan control on this one because there is no fan. You'll notice they have a blue tag on the front of each one. So they've introduced this hybrid or normal mode. So hybrid mode, uh, it actually says on the back here, it uses uh, an interesting algorithm that it'll balance between the thermal control, the silence and the cooling. So. Uh, it's actually got a scale, so when it's at a certain point, it'll be completely fanless. It won't be spinning. Uh, when it slightly heats up, it'll it'll start to cool a little bit, and then when it's under more load, the fan will start spinning. So it doesn't just sort of start and stop like more tra traditional power supplies. It'll uh, it'll sort of detect what speed it needs to go at, and probably you'll find that most of the time in Windows, um, I've used power supplies like these before. The fan won't spin at all. Um, it'll actually just wait till you're probably gaming or doing something that needs more load. Now you actually can turn this off, you can just simply switch it to normal and the fan will run at a constant speed or you can just switch it to the, uh, the hybrid. So that's on these two as well and it does say to peel this off before you start. So what we'll do now is we'll go in and get some, uh, we'll get some close-ups on, uh, on the cables and see what we actually get in the box. I have opened these up. You also do get one thing that I have taken out of the box. You do get this nice bag that they come in, kind of like a felt sort of material, and the white one is for the snow, and then you've got the two black ones there. Just make sure I haven't missed anything. Um, I just want to cover the fans on this one. is a Sanyo Denki San A silent fan, so it is a uh, world-renowned fan. They're really good fans for this one. It kind of looks a bit uh, industrial-like. It's not your tr traditional sort of case fan and then on the snow white they've actually gone with uh, different fans maybe because you can't get this one in white they've gone with the standard 120 mil uh, fdb which is your fluid dynamic bearing fans and you're starting to see them being used more in um in units these days and other things we've got we've got haswell ready um what else do we have here 
dual copper bars. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So ultra tight regulation. I'm just seeing if there's any other standout features. They all feature the same thing. All Haswell already um, ERP compliant uh, from well, that's 2013 compliant. So yeah, what we'll do now is crank these boxes open and see what uh, any accessories we get, any cable ties, and we'll have a look at the ca cables. All right, so we'll start off with the uh, the fanless unit. We'll get this small guy out of the way. All right, so inside there, we got your one, two, three, four, five standard traditional zip ties there. We've got one, two, three, uh, three nice Seasonic uh, Velcro zip ties, which are nice. And then we've got the uh, the four K screws for the uh, power supply. And then we've got the nice little uh, Seasonic badge there as well, which is a nice little touch. All right, now moving on to some of the more things that we have. Actually, this is quite a thick, quite a thick manual. It's probably in quite a few languages. Yeah, it says it there. But that's nice, I've got that. What do we have here? Commitment to quality, all that stuff, important notice. Now, it was interesting to see if they were gonna mention something about this unit, because it's fanless, um, you're probably not gonna to wanna to block all the airflow. It does say the fanless PSU is designed to be uh, responsible for its own cooling and should not operate in a, uh, in a should only operate in a well-designed system chassis that provides good cooling and ventilation. And I think it might even have somewhere that it, I did read somewhere that it says not to cover. So if you don't have a case that, if you have a case that doesn't have uh, ventilation at the bottom, don't just stick this flat down. Make sure you got plenty of circulation around your case. But that's pretty much common sense, especially with the fanless uh, unit there. PCI power connectors, so you got GPU, GPU, PSU, PSU. All right, so it can take quite a few. Um, it can take quite a few there. So that's pretty sweet. All right, now there's nothing on that side because I've taken that out and we'll just have a quick look at the cables. I'm not sure if it even says the cables on the, um, oh yeah, it says it on the box. Okay, so your standard uh, wall socket IC cable. And these are your cables here. So I know you don't get any cable bags with these. They're just your clear sort of bag. Nothing too fancy there. Okay, this bag is kind of a little bit noisy. Sealed. All right, so that's all your cables there. So the only one that is... Uh, the only one that is sleeved is your 24 pin. Now I've seen these quite quite a bit, these style of cables. Now bear in mind that Seasonic do make a lot of units for other companies. Uh, they're sort of the foundation, like they don't make the whole units, but more or less the internals. So you're probably gonna see the, the boards inside these units used in other power supplies. And um, even these cables I've seen used quite a bit. So that's your 24 pin. I probably won't go through all of these. So you've got 24 pin. You get two, actually CPU, you only get one CPU, but that's fair enough, and that, that's gonna be breakable into a uh, two fours, because you're probably not gonna need two, <laughs> two EPS eight pins on, um, on a 520 watt unit. That's quite long there. I'd probably say that's at least 60 centimeters there. And then how many, all, all your PCIe are just branched off like that, so that's your pass by unit, and you get one, two of those so that'll get you uh that'll probably get you uh two video cards done if you're using two uh two eight if you need two eight video cards or two six pins which is fair enough because two video cards by the time you add them together you're probably not going to have many watts spare for uh, for anything else and now we've got the molex so the molex we get on this unit is five and six SATA, which is nice. And then, then we've got the standard floppy, which I'm not sure if anyone is ever going to use. Um, some people might. I do know that some sound cards do need uh, extra power, so you do need a floppy one for that. All right, now let's look at the, uh, let's look at the 1200 watt. Now I'm assuming you're gonna get quite a few more cables in this one. So you got the Seasonic on there like that. Okay, so exactly the same. Uh, actually, no, we do get a few more. Actually, we get quite a few more of the uh, 
the Velcro cable ties. We get six now, so they've, they've doubled those. They've added a few more zip ties. We do get a nice, like, uh, a nice hard case badge where previously the other case badge was just a sticker. This is a nice, nice solid hard one. That looks really nice. And then we got the, the standard uh, case screw, so that's a nice touch there. Um, similar sort of, of manual layout there. And we've got your uh, our commitment to quality there. So let's have a look inside this box. Oh yeah, it's a bit heavier there. So yeah, it's gonna get a few more cables in that one so i'm expecting this time you you got two cpu cables you'll have one solid eight one um one dual four okay that's your uh, ac uh iec cable there so these cables are going to be this is probably exactly the same style cables uh the lengths might be a bit different than in the 520 watt unit In that in a hurry. All right, so we get two CPU, you get 24 pin. Uh, it's exactly the same as the previous one. I'll just check the length on that. Yeah, it's about the same. So I'll probably say that's nearly uh, 60 centimeters there. All right, so your PCIe, you get 10. So I'm assuming it's the same. If it's the same style, that is uh, the dual off the one. Let's have a look here. So it splits off the one. So you're probably going to get five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, so that works it out like that. So you get five of those that split off. I, I do like these ones because you only have to run one cable. And if you're not running extensions or anything, you just loop these into your your video card because 99% of the time you're gonna need a video card that either needs two, uh, six and an eight, and that works perfectly. The only thing I don't like is, is when companies like, they can sk skimp out and don't use thick enough gauge uh, cable to run these two because bear in mind you've got to run a whole video card off this one lead and if it's only what's this this is only eight wires um it's really not that much but it looks like this cable is quite thick which is good now moving on to the peripheral so we only still got your five uh five molex which um to me uh, like i still use quite a few hard drives so to me i still like about at least eight molex but that's probably just me you speak to most people and they don't really need really need that Molex. So we simply get a, a, a three Molex one and then we just simply get a two Molex one. And then moving on to, that's your, your EPS. So we've got the, the, the breakable eight there and the solid eight. We'll just check the length of those because that's probably the most important cable you need the length for is the EPS. So that's quite long. That'll be at least 60 centimeters there. Your standard floppy one again, and then the SATA, they've beefed up the SATA to 14, so that's quite a lot, uh, which is good, because I guess people are moving on to, on to SATA. I do like uh, like to get a, a lot of each, but I'm 14 SATA, you sort of get one, two, three, four, um, four, eight, so we're gonna get, so you got four, eight, 12, so we got four on the three of them, and then one of them, we just had two. So if you just need a, a short or a few, you don't, you don't need all of them, you've got that option. All right, now we'll have a look at the white. I keep on calling it Snow White. I think that they might have thought of calling it Snow White, but they changed the name to Snow Silent. Yeah, I've already had a look at this unit and the only thing I, I wish they did was somehow provide you white cables. I'm not sure if it's even possible to get white power supply cables, but that would have really just topped it off. Now we've got the standard uh, standard manual, which we've seen before. We've got this layout again with your GPUs and the uh, our commitment to quality there. Okay, now I must have taken out a uh, little bag of ex no, here they are. So they've even gone to the effort to, uh, they've even gone to the effort to give you white uh, Velcro zip ties. Oh, and they've actually given you nine. So they've given you nine of the nice uh, Seasonic Velcro zip ties and they've actually made them white because they were the black ones in the previous one. So they made them white. Um, so they've gone to the effort to do that, and then you just get you get a case badge. You get your standard hard Seasonic case badge, which is nice. 
and then you get the standard zip ties and the screws. All right, so once again, standard IEC cable for your AC. We'll just move this out of the way. I'll bring this unit back up so I can see what... So yeah, it's just a shame that they didn't, because if you had... Imagine if you had this in like a fully sick white case. Um, I'm actually gonna use this in, um, I've redone my in-win S-frame in a full white uh, sort of theme. So if I had white, I will be using extensions, but not everyone will be using extensions for their, for their builds. All right, now I very much think this is going to be the same. Actually, they've actually given me the lengths on this one in, uh, in brackets afterwards. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, they did the first time on the on the, on the uh, other 1200 watt or on the 1200 watt. This is a 1050 uh, watt. So yeah, they do have the lengths. 24 pin is uh, 61 centimeters there. Same style again. Uh, it's going to be exactly the same. You get your two eights, uh, the one breakable eight. They're both uh, 65 centimeters, and they just don't give you the lengths on the uh, on the PCIe and stuff. But mo most of the time, you don't need humongous long um so the only difference in this one is it dropped two of the, it's dropped one of the pci lead the pcie cable down which um, drops you off two connectors actually that's the psu one so yeah so instead of getting the 10 pcie you are only getting the uh only getting the eight so that's still enough to run but if you're running four uh, four video cards it's still enough for that providing you don't need any um three connectors per video card so actually they have done something a bit different here. So they've given you some single length one. So that goes single, it doesn't split off into the two, and then that gives you the six or the eight. So they didn't have that in the previous unit. Let me see what else. So that one splits. So I think we're gonna get two that splits, or four that splits, let me have a look. Interesting that they gave you some singles. I um, haven't re really seen that with too many units. So that one splits. Uh, so yeah, sorry, that's a single one. So you've got two single ones. I guess it is, it is good that they do throw in a single one here and there because if you somehow are running, um, you're not going to beef this out with video cards. It, when you have this one, you're only using one uh, connector. You've always got this one hanging here if it's not being used. All right, so that one splits there. And I think we're just gonna get another one that splits as well. No, <laughs> this is quite confusing. Okay, so that's a straight through one there. So that's three straight through ones, two that split. God, they certainly put these twisty ties on good. Okay, so that's another one that splits. So that's got four, five, six, seven. There must be another straight through one somewhere ah uh, that's it there yeah so quite interesting they give you two that splits off into that gives you the four and then they give you four single runs so quite a bit different to, to the 1200 watt i'm not sure why they did that maybe it's just the way that they, they built this unit and then moving down to your peripheral molex you still get your five and then your sardi you still get the 14 and then the floppy you get the uh you get the one so uh but yeah that's um probably pretty much it for this video i just wanted to show you these uh these units i see sonic's been around for a long time i think they've been around for about 40 years now so that is a very very long time so um, I'm, I'm happy to be uh to be working with them and they sent me some of the units to put in builds because i do do a lot of builds and it's great having a pass by manufacturer that that doesn't um isn't involved in cases and things like that because whenever i'm doing a build it's hard to try and get um just a company that that works solely in power supply units so it's good that i can start using these i'll be using this white one in the white s frame which should look really good i'm not sure about the fanless yet it would be nice to test that in in a unit just to see how it goes and then it's always good to have a 1200 watt when you're on like a bench system and things like that when you need quite a bit of grunt but yeah i just want to thank uh, c sonic for sending these out thanks for watching and stay tuned for next time